In this video, I show you how to configure BSNL FTTH ONT router. Your router may be from different company, but configuration will be same in all routers. Without wasting any time, let's start. Connect router to power supply. Check the optical fiber cable behind the router. Make sure it's connected properly. When you start your router, it will take minimum of 2 minutes for synchronizing with optical fiber. After 2 minutes, you will get stable pawn connection. If it's still blinking, optical fiber not connected properly. Connect the router to a laptop or desktop with the RJ45 LAN cable. After connecting LAN cable, go to the network and check. There's a Wi-Fi FTTH, but we don't know the password. So we have to configure the router from this Ethernet cable. There's no internet. We have to configure internet and voice for this router. Go to start and type cmd. Open command prompt and type ipconfig. ipconfig. Hit enter. You will see default gateway and ipv4 address. If you are seeing default gateway, you are properly connected to your router. Copy that default gateway address and type it in browser. When you open this page, you will go to the login page of the router. There's a username, password and some verification. I don't know why they put that. Username is admin and password is, I mentioned in the description, default password of different types of routers. Login with that information. It's asking to change the password. Type the old password, default password given in the description and type the new password, whatever you want. Now again log in with the username and password that you have just created new password type the verification code and click on login on the login you have to check optical fiber strength go to status van connection info and epon information here you will see tx power and rx power check the rx power it shows the connection strength if it's below 10, it's very good. Below 20, it's good. If it's above 27, you may notice a connection losses sometime. So below 27 is very important. Click on network and internet first option. Connection name, it given by the, it's a default one. Delete this one, delete it. We have to add internet first. Click on add new connection. Mode is not bridge, it's a root. Click on root. IP protocol mode is IPv4. BSNL is just introducing IPv6. At present, click on IPv4. It's a PPPoE, not a static or DHCP. Enable these two options. Enable W. Double, enable VLAN and VLAN ID is given by franchisee or BSNN. You have to contact them for the VLAN ID. It's null. MTU size is type 1500. It will take the maximum value type 1500. And username is provided by BSNN or franchisee. You have to contact them at ftth.bsnl.in at ftth.bsnl.in type the password and service name is whatever you type whatever you want if you mm, leave it as blank leave it nothing to worry ppo type ppp type auto connect and a service mode internet 
don't enable turn off DHCP leave it if you want port binding bind it I don't want click and click on save and apply click it it will take around four to five seconds now go to status WAN connection info status WAN connection info here you will see internet PPPOE is enable and up it's enable and up you will see the IP address netmask and MAC address now we have to configure voice or telephone before that we have to check internet is coming or not open new tab and search google.com this is BSNL advertisement you will see wood Z5 UPTV for 129 rupees per month so let's close this Google is open so we are getting internet next thing we have to check the speed of the internet I am going to check the internet speed on fast.com fast.com a website from Netflix is a good company's website so I can get how much internet coming for streaming services okay this connection is on 30 mbps but here you will see up to 70 mbps because it will at the starting it will go up to 70 80 mbps then it will decrease to 30 mbps stable speed both upload and download speed will be 30 mbps let's close this tab and go back to router configuration page in status it will enable and up it's stable connection is stable then we have to set the voice we have to configure voice of VOAP telephone go to network in under WAN configuration click on add new connection mode is root it's also IPv4 and it's a DHCP not PPPOE it's a DHCP enable NAT enable VLAN VLAN ID is same for most of the BSNL users it's the same number if it's not work you can contact BSNL so put this number and 802.1p is here you can put it as null or you can set it to 7 7 means the highest priority I'm leaving it as null you have to select 7 MTU size is 1500 1500 request DNS is enable select the internet mode internet mode should be wise or wise internet wise internet is the best method and wise also works then save and apply click on save and apply it will take 4-5 seconds wait once wise is configured we have to set SIP address for that we have to go for application and wise over IP VOIP application VOIP third one We have to set primary SIP register address. We can leave blank secondary register address. Primary SIP register address is 10.187.6.12. In some places, instead of 6, it will be 7. Means 10.187.7.12. Instead of 6, it will be 7. First, you have to put 6. If it's not worked, then put 7. The port will be same 5060 and paste this SIP address wherever I am pasting. Primary SIP proxy address, enable outbound proxy, outbound proxy address, and SIP domain. And you have to enable line 1 it will be rj11 port back of your router for connecting line line account number and account name would be your phone number if your phone number st start from 086 something you have to remove that zero and put 91 you have to put 91 before your number and remove the zero before your number and password will be same as your account name and account username account number and account name same you have to copy paste that to password okay here we'll, you will see in status our line is enable and up 
After this, go to status and VoIP information. Service state is registered. If it's showing registering, that means some configuration will be wrong. Sometime it will take five to six minutes after setting up for registering your number. Wait for five, six minutes. If it's still showing registering, that means some configuration will be wrong. You have to start from VoIP voice configuration. So we have successfully configured voice and internet. Now we have to configure the Wi-Fi. Go to network and WLAN. SSID name means your Wi-Fi name. Change the SSID name, whatever you want. I am choosing random number zero. And if you want long range, set it to 20 megahertz. If you want higher speed, set it to 40 megahertz. Device, if you set 20 or 40 megahertz, device will choose automatically what it want for your device. If you want to manually configure channel number, set. In my area, there is no Wi-Fi, so I'm setting to channel number one. If you want to limit the clients, how many devices you have to connect, set the client number, 10 devices, 12, like that. I am disabling it and click on apply changes. Now Wi-Fi name is changed and we have to change the password. Go to WLAN security network WLAN WLAN security set the encryption method WPA2 is the best one WEP is the so for some old devices don't support WPA2 you have to set it to WEP for old devices some old devices I am setting it to WPA2 and pre-shared key is your Wi-Fi password whatever you want for your Wi-Fi password type it here in pre-shared key Type the password and click on apply. And you should disable WPS. WPS is anyone can hack from their Android device. So disable WPS. If you want other Wi-Fi names, three, four Wi-Fi names like for guests and others, you can enable from here. Wi-Fi, you can check from your phone. Wi-Fi is connected. Here you see, I'm set it as zero and I am putting the pre-shared key what I type Wi-Fi security and it's connected internet is connected if you have any doubt or problem while setting and configuring this internet comment me below I will give you my best answer thank you for watching this video hit subscribe button give me one like for my work